The highly anticipated list of nominated governorship candidates by the Independent National Electoral Commission was released yesterday in some states with some embattled candidates knowing their fate. Now in Ogun State, the names of the governorship candidates of the People's Democratic Party and that of Labour Party were conspicuously missing on the INEC list following the release of names of parties' flag bearers, 13 political parties and their candidates made the final list. PDP appeared on the list as number 21, but the names of both the governorship candidates, Ladi Adebutu and his running mate Adekunle Akinlade, were missing. The commission cited court order as the reason for omission. Now, discussing this with us is still Dr. Dayakaradi. The, the elections are here. I mean, it, it's getting more intriguing by the day. October 12th, you know, you have um, the, the campaign open as well for the, the governorship <coughs> candidates and um, House of Assembly um, candidates too. How does this spell doom or, you know, good for the, the PDP in Ogun State? Uh, they've had their fair share of struggles. And um, one state's leader, as it were, you know, Benga Daniel um, defected to the APC about two years now. But this latest, you know, um, controversy or setback, how does it affect PDP's chances in that state? <clears throat> You're going to see that um, after the primaries, mm -hmm especially between uh, Honorable Ladi Adebutu. Adebutu, yes. I mean, you know, he's still a member of the uh, mm -hmm. House of Reps, representing the constituency in House of Reps. And then that of uh, uh, Shogun Yes. I think Shogun Shogun went to the court and... Uh, the case is still on. Yes. It's still on. But here we are. I next saying because of the court Cut order. Order. Mm -hmm. But should it be court order or court case? As the court ordered. Exactly. That none of them should be acknowledged as a candidate of the party. Mm hmm that I'm not aware of. Okay. What I'm aware of is there is a court case. A court case. Yes. From the side of Shegun Shogun. Mm -hmm. All right. But the primaries conducted by the party submitted to the National Working Committee of the party. Mm -hmm. recognizes uh, Ladi, Adebutu. Ladi Adebutu. But then, here, here we are, whereby uh, uh, cases, cases are being looked into from the perspective of the judiciary. Mm -hmm. Since that thing started yesterday, I mean, since that news was yeah, broke broken off, yeah. yesterday, I have sent some messages out okay. to find out the implication. Out of the messages, I've gotten a response. Probably responses must have come. Mm -hmm. if, um, yes, yeah. on my on my phone. By ever now. Since I don't know. Here, yeah. yeah, ever since we have been here, but I mean, immediately after here, I will continue to press for responses. That okay? Yeah, court case. Yeah, no problem. Adebutu definitely he has that right mm -hmm. to, to appeal. appeal. Yes. So let us look at him appealing. What's INEC? Because now it has to do with what what the the, the order, the court order mm -hmm. that INEC is quoting. Quoting, yeah. And then he must also add that appeal should also declare on INEC to register him. As the as candidate candidates. of the party, okay. if he wins the appeal. Okay. Um, let's look at this because, um, you know, oftentimes we have issues with primaries being conducted from forged certificates or, or not credible polls and all of that. If the PDP is not careful, they may just go down the path of Zamfara and um, Rivers APC in 2019 where they couldn't field candidates no, as a result no, of issues. There's no issues. forgery. No, I, I, no, know, I, know, I, against, uh, I know. I know. I uh, know. I know. What I'm saying is, I know. I just give that as an instance. Yeah. What I'm saying is, if Shago Shogumi, 
you know, keeps pushing that the polls were not credible, that it should have been, you know, um, authenticated as the winner of that primary and all of that. And they do not resolve, you know, the, the issues, the lingering crisis as quickly as possible, especially considering how lengthy, court, um, you know, proceedings can be. The PDP may be in danger of not having candidates, just like no, they had, see, didn't have in 2019 in Rivers. You see, presently, we see half five months. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, Shago Show me as an individual okay. in the party. So also, uh, Ladi Adebutu is also an individual in the party. If Adebutu should go to the court, okay, and court declares and mark it, and yes. court declares that he is the rightful candidate, that's not anybody can do about it, okay. But you know, the that process is, of is, appealing no, and all of that, see, so it gets the, the issue now court. is because. Because it is an election period mm -hmm. now, it will be given and uh, how do they put it in court now? It, it, they, they will fast track process, uh, yeah. expi expedited process. process. Yes. Do you understand? And even even the lawyers, the lawyers of uh, Adebutu will, re will request the court to give it an expedited process, and it's allowed. Well, t t talking about process, I, I know it's allowed. I'm, it's allowed, but we, we've also seen instances where you know a, a candidate is declared the winner, goes on to even win the governorship polls, and then probably a year after, you know, um, the court now rules that oh, it wasn't the you know duly um, um, elected um, candidates, you know, of the party during the primaries. You see, we, this, we've seen that with different that, states. There's now there's now an electoral law mm -hmm. that d that it gives a time frame. Free Pre, pre okay. election matters, yes, and then post, post election, election matters. matters. This, these are pre election matters. Ele I mean, pre uh, uh, pre election matters, mm -hmm. which has to do with the primaries, yes. And the moment, the moment is being dealt with by appeal courts now, okay. And if you should, if Lady like Adebodo should go on to win the governorship election of Ogun State, mm -hmm. then. Yeah. Except, except if the the other candidates mm -hmm. now decide to now take him to court. Court again. So it will be the case of the one that uh, 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 Shego Show me. Okay. is talking about. Okay, let, because the one that, that you are referring to, the one that happened to uh, Amechi, yes, wrote in Amechi, Amechi in and the uh, Omea, Omea, something like that in uh, yes. River State, which as regards during the primaries, mm -hmm. and the court is now saying, yeah, the votes. Were not for either Amechi or Omea, but for the party, mm -hmm. which now brought in Rutimi Amechi as the as the governor of. Uh, okay, so let, let's look at this now. How do the um, PDP? I mean, I'm, I'm asking not just about this issue now, but going forward for the PDP in Ogun State, how do they resolve the internal crisis? That factions, no doubt, but in terms of unifying the party so as to approach, you know, the elections. There's, there's no way. There's no way you can avoid crisis in party politics. Mm -hmm. Just as some are leaving, some are coming in. But it shouldn't be a major one that would affect which, the chances which, of the party. Do you know a major a major faction of other party joined the uh, Adebutu? Where is uh, Akin Ade from? Akin Ade was a member of uh, APM. A a a mm, before APC, now, APC. Then APM. APC. And he has a chunk of APC that followed him to, to APM. APM. Do you want to tell me that... Uh, Former governor of Augusta, what's his name? That man that with name. the no, with the big cap, with cap. Oh, Amosu. Amosu. You want to tell me Amosu is not a factor in uh, Augusta politics? Uh, who who is the benefactor of uh, of uh, uh, the the deputy to Adebutu? Is he not being, is he not uh, Amosu? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So if if this thing could be resolved in court, okay. The show me that I know is also a party man. Is he, he is just looking for justice and fair play? Okay. He has gone to court, but if court is now saying, "Look, uh, Orewa, this is situation on ground is for Adebutu." He, he, show me we not leave the party okay. because he had been in the party. He has been in PDP for how long since uh, during the time of. Uh, 
bring a Daniels. So for me, I don't see I don't see any any crisis. Any crisis. I'm not seeing any crisis okay. in uh, in Augusta PDP. Other than other than everybody wants to be treated fairly. fairly. And if the court is now saying yes, Adebutu is the rightful uh, winner of that primaries. Okay. Where, where is that crisis again? Okay. Other than Adebutu to now double his efforts during his campaign, campaign. Okay. which I, which I'm very sure is is capable of. Okay. Uh, in wrapping up this this discussion, let, let let's look at the role of INEC now. Again, the question will be: Is INEC ready for 2023 elections? You know, we've seen Ikitsi, we've seen Oshun recent polls. Um, Nigerians scored them way above average. You know, in those polls, in terms of how they conducted it, you know, to be free, fair, credible. So um, maybe 60, 65 percent. That's what most of the polls are saying, especially on social media. But the question remains. From your own perspective, this is not, you know, a state thing now. It's national. It's national, yeah. And the, the dynamics of the game will definitely change when it comes yeah. to the national front. Yeah. So, do you think INEC, with the electoral, backed by the Electoral Act of 2022, is ready for the polls come 2023? Yeah, to, honestly, to a very large extent, uh, Professor Mahmoud has done well mm -hmm. in terms of uh, moving INEC forward. And I'm talking about the Beavers. Yes. And then the electoral Arts. electoral acts mm -hmm. that uh, have just been uh, promulgated, and of which he insisted, yeah. despite pressures, despite pressures from other angles, he insisted that results are going to be electronically transferred, mm -hmm. which is a very good. I mean, which made me to give him kudos. All right, now. Uh, as the elections yeah. of 2023 is approaching, I will also want him to be on top of his game with his team. Okay. In terms of the intricacies of politicking okay. and politicking by the politicians. All right, most poli some some politicians, especially those that believe in changing of figures here and there, they were against him as regards that electoral transfer of a, of a result. Yeah, there are also some that be out to induce people with money. It should also be out on them. There are also some. Through the security forces. That we want to unleash mayhem, crisis on voters. Just as was about to happen in Osho, and somebody who was their acclaimed leader was arrested. So, Mahmoud should also watch out for that. And then ensure that the security apparatus will are well trained towards electioneering processes and well educated, well informed as regards the rules and regulations okay. guiding elections and what are being expected from them as security agents. To that extent, honestly speaking, I don't have any fears. If only some people out there are not ready or planning to truncate our democracy. That's a fine place to wrap this discussion up. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure having you on the show. It's fine. But then I, I we also want to uh, uh, Samson uh -huh. to go and uh, to go to my YouTube <laughs> and then listen to my that my independence day because it, it is loaded. You have my word. I'll uh, check that uh, Nigeria at sixty two. Dr. Dio Kaudi. Just Ouch. go there, subscribe, subscribe to it, and then please send to your I'll to check your, it out. To your you have my word. Uh, other contacts. <laughs> Nigeria must move forward. We, we must, must and we will. Forward. And we will. Nigeria Thank you so much for your time Thanks, once again. Pleasure being here with you today. We're hitting home stretch on the show, and Ivan Daybreak continues in a moment.